are taking students for archaeology. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. Congratulations, you found me. It's the Wolfman, Harrison Wolf, bringing you the truth from an undisclosed location here on Two Point Radio. Let's start thinking some radical thoughts while you listen to a piece of pre-digested popular music. All right? All right. Mm-hmm. 
demonstrator. I'll add them to the pile. Let's talk about the news. The news is like tea leaves or constellations, or when you find a singular glove on a fence post in the park. Can't look at it straight on. You gotta read between the lines. So when I say people in Hogsport can expect some minor flooding over the next week, what am I really saying? Think about it.
I see Jumbo McNally is sticking with the hard sell on the humbly named Jumbo University. If I was looking for an education, it sure wouldn't be from that guy that sells the nuts. That information, unlike Jumbo University, was totally free. You're welcome, listeners. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. At Bungle, we know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom.
We're back, but I was never really gone. What do you think I do while you're all listening to music? You probably think I eat a biscuit or go for a little walk, and sure, sometimes I do do that, but in a different sense, nothing could be further from the truth. Here's some more music while I do something totally unexpected. keeping thank you I've been playing some new video games recently and man has it been a while 
The last time I played video games, you were a tiny hexagon and you had to chase a squirrel to the top of the castle or something like that. Anyway, I tried that new Meat Wizard game everyone's going on about and boy, what a ride. Who knew that being a spell-casting, salami-wielding sorcerer would be so much fun? You say it out loud, it sounds obvious. Why is robotics such a popular career path for kids these days? I tell you, I'm seriously concerned that we're losing our perfectly understandable fear of the machines. I mean, don't you see what's happening? When you build a robot, you're working for the robots. We gotta make a stand. Join me in flushing my doorbell down the toilet. United we stand, together we flush.
just finishing up for today. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. Think about it next time you're sleeping and all the false realities drop away around you, leaving you playing chess with a sassy hat stand, finally feeling the real unfiltered truth. See you around. needed in library.
believe that smell is you. Maggie Watmore, learning on the job on Campus Radio. Can I ask, um, should we be paying someone for using this next song? Sorry, I just really don't know. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. campus is talking about the Asian minister and the bad 
or maybe good thing that happened. Over to you, Hugh. Yes, that's right. Emotions are high here in Crockenbouche today as students have flooded into the city to protest the continued existence of Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge. They dabbled in some chanting, but haven't been able to get into an easy and repeatable rhythm. We'll be here letting you know the wording they settle on as and when it happens. You want to learn better? Of course you do. Wanda, how do we do that? Everyone is looking for ways to study without all those hours in the library and pen stains on your fingertips. The latest way to trick your body into learning is to sleep with a book in front of or on top of your face. As you sleep, your eyes will occasionally open, letting in a little light and valuable, valuable knowledge. 
Try it for a week and see the results for yourself. I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self.
janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. And that's the show. Join us tomorrow when we'll be discussing which vegetables last the longest. That should be great. You know, I've bought 16 avocados this year and still haven't gotten to eat any of them. I mean, really, they must be right for about five minutes. Sorry, we'll leave that for tomorrow, shall we? Join us then. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
unblocked toilets. Lovely. Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers, cheers. 